YouTube, it's Nurse Leslie here, the beauty on duty. Today's video is the final video in my three part series, What's in the Bag? So today you are going to get a sneak peek into my lecture bag. Here it goes. I'm going to start off with my notebook. Um, organization does not come natural for everyone. And for those of you that need some tips, this will probably be probably be helpful. I hope it'll be helpful. <laughs> so if you don't have a notebook, please get a notebook, okay? Um, I don't know how successful you'll be if you're taking papers as you get them and dumping them into a bag, okay? That is like disorganized chaos, okay? Get a notebook. It's like five dollars at Walmart, okay? <laughs> So, I have little stickies. I put them everywhere. I have one here on the front of my notebook to remind me um, of the chapters and the date of my next exam. There are quite a few chapters that are on this exam, so I definitely need to know exactly where to go in the book to study and to remember what date the exam was on. It's really important to know that. Inside my notebook, more notes to self, more post-it notes. I have my homework list here. I have my quiz date and the forms of um, study that I'm going to use, like my NCLEX book, the online prep you resource, which is really awesome. I have a folder here, which I keep my handouts in for the loose paper. I keep my scantrons inside my notebook. I don't leave them at home because if I leave them at home, I may forget it on test date. I have extras here just in case I mess up or one of my classmates needs one. I have a roster with my classmates' names, um, email address, and phone number just in case if somebody misses class, I can share my share my notes with them and let them know what they missed. I use dividers to divide my notebook paper. Um, these dividers are really cool. They have little tabs, and I have one for lecture, lab, clinical, bio, and midterm. These uh, little dividers also have front and back pockets. In the front, I actually keep my um, syllabus. In the back, I keep my um, study guides and um, homework. I use the notebook paper, lots and lots of notebook paper for writing my notes. And I highlight, love to use my highlighters. I have five different colors, makes writing notes kind of fun. <laughs> Coloring is not just for kids, it's for college students also. I use asterisks, stars, double underline, um, anything to let myself know, hey, pay attention to this. This is really important. Okay? I also use post-it notes on my notes. You know, maybe I didn't complete my notes and I need to come back to it. The post-it note will let me know that. So that's all for my notebook. Like I say, if you don't have a notebook, please go get one. It'll help you tremendously. Next, I'm going to show you my nursing textbook. This is a really great book. It has a lot of information. As you can see, it's very large. And I use my post-it notes again to mark my pages. Currently, we're working on pre-operative care, post-operative care, and surgical asepsis. Really great information. Um, lots and lots of fun to learn about. I really wish we could do an OR rotation, but I don't believe they carved it out into our curriculum. Um, but it would be really nice. Maybe they'll surprise us. I have a workbook here which um, works in accordance with my textbook. More post-it notes inside to mark my pages. We have um, required homework every week that we have to do before um, lecture. And they have different formats like multiple choice questions, fill in the blank questions, diagrams, and NCLEX style questions which are really, really helpful. I have my Human Body in Health and Disease book and more post-its, uh, review chapter 13, types of blood cells, blood disorders, and read chapter 14. So these are really great reminders. As you can see, I like to use my post-it notes. And when I'm not studying my um, curriculum, I like to use my NCLEX prep examination book. Um, this one is by Saunders, it's the fourth edition, and it's really awesome because it gives you the rationale as to why the answers that are wrong are wrong and why the answers that are right are right. And that is really what you want to look for in an NCLEX style book. This book actually has um, a DVD that comes with it. It also um, 
has they also have like a box of flashcards with NCLEX style questions and information, so you may want to check that out. Um, I love flashcards. I always keep them with me. You can use them as bookmarkers or you can use them to create flashcards for information that you need to study repetitively. When I was doing medical terminology, I probably made a stack this high of um, different different um, flashcards. You know, it, it really helped me, you know, when I would be trying to wind down for the night and just wanted to study just a little bit more, I would use my flashcards and flip through them until I was sleepy enough to fall asleep. And I love whiteout. There's nothing like scratch outs. It's just one of the things that really irritates me. I keep whiteout and I keep at least two ink pens, okay? It never fails. You'll lose one, somebody will borrow it, they won't give it back, so keep a couple, okay? These are the things that I keep with me that ensure that I'm going to be successful, um, keeps me organized, keeps my mind calm, I'm not wondering, oh, did I leave something? Um, so, yeah, I hope this helps, guys. Um, if you don't have a notebook, get a notebook. I think that's my third time saying it, but it's really important to get yourself organized. Um, lots of notebook paper for note-taking, highlighters, dividers, things like that. So, Hopefully this video helped you guys, and I hope uh, you all are working hard in your nursing programs. I know final exams are coming up for all of us, and I wish you all luck. Wish me luck as well. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, rate, and leave comments. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.